So today I am out here at Explore USA RV Super Center in Rockport, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this really cool Grand Design Reflection fifth wheel. This is going to be more along the lighter weight side of your larger fifth wheels, so this is absolutely something that you can tow with like a single rear wheel one ton truck. And there's a lot to like about this unit, so hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to continue to change things up a little bit and start with the inside of this unit. Now, before I do that, I do want to talk about these steps for Moride. These are a new style step that they're offering. And what's really cool about these steps is the fact that they fold up like this. So you can clean them off a lot easier without getting dirt into the RV itself. That is really, really cool. Very innovative. Companies like Moride and LCI do a great job innovating their products constantly so you have a better overall experience. Let's take a look inside of this 320 MKS from Grand Design. All right, stepping inside, you can see that this is a rear kitchen, kind of mid living room area. Let me turn some light on. Let's quickly walk around this so you can kind of see what's going on. You have your theater seating, you have your love seat right there. Stepping up to the front of this unit. Here's the inside of your bathroom. And then your bedroom up front. Very cool. There's something special about this bed that I'll go over once we get here. Okay, coming back down, let's start in the living room. So you have your TV mounted here. It looks to be a 40 inch TV. You have some nice storage above. Plus you have your entertainment center right there. Right here you have something pretty cool. You have a drawer that actually slides out. Very, very wide panoramic fireplace. Let's walk around this way where we have more room. I guess we'll flip around this way. You have a love seat that folds out into a bed. You have your theater seating right here with heat, massage, and lighting. Nice dinette area, and this is kind of cool. So on this side, it's kind of like a booth style where you have storage underneath this seat. And on this side, it's two chairs, but it's very good utilization of space right here. I like that next to this massive window, just a huge window right here. You can see how the valances extend down pretty far. So you want to be careful not to hit it with your chair if you're putting your chair in and out. Another window right here. You have this great desk area at the end. And this is just a really cool workstation area. Let's say somebody's cooking and you work out of your RV and you're living here. That's just a really great place to have your desk set up. I think that's a very, very innovative design as well. You have some really nice deep cabinets here at the very back. And then you have some drawers right here, which are really nice. Full extension ball bearing glides. Here's your refrigerator, completely trimmed off. This is a gas electric Norcold refrigerator. Over here you have your residential Furion microwave, Furion cooktop with three burners, and you have this elongated center burner. Plus you have a nice size oven in this unit. Lots of countertop space right here. You have a good amount of countertop space here as well. It's a huge single basin stainless steel sink, along with Nice fixtures in here as well. Good place for a coffee station, probably be back there. Here is a drawer. That's a huge drawer too. Plus you have more drawers on this side and some cabinet space underneath. A lot of cabinet space actually. They cleaned that up really nicely. Now you may wonder what this area is. Well, the outside of this is gonna be the outside kitchen area. Has a huge pantry. If there's one thing that Grand Design is absolutely known for, it's their enormous pantries. Nice cabinetry all around this area. Nice big window behind the love seat. Let's move up. Then you have your bathroom shower stall right here. Has a single one piece shower assembly, which is really nice. Ceiling heights in here are gonna be about six foot three. A lot of storage space over here has a porcelain foot flush toilet, of course. You have some nice drawers right here. A lot of RVs lack any type of drawers inside of the bathroom area, so it's very nice to see that in this Grand Design unit. Plenty of room in the medicine cabinet and a lot of space right here. Has a nice thermofoil style countertop. And it is a plastic basin sink. Would have been nice to see something porcelain, but that's not that big of a deal. Stepping into the bedroom, 
has a good size bedroom and this does have a king size bed. Now what they've done that's different is if you look at the mattress, it's rounded off. So it doesn't take up quite as much room and believe it or not, it actually makes it quite a bit easier to get on and off the bed when you can worm your way around a little easier. So it is a king size bed, relatively low slide heights, but this is a mid profile unit. So you don't really have the space to make it much taller because if you look at the edge here, you can see how it tapers down. Whereas even though you have more space there, you don't on this side and you have to be aware of all of that. It has twin mock air conditioning systems, fully ducted racetrack system inside. Here's your closet space up front. Very typical to grand design. Beautiful, beautiful front closet space. Your dryer vent connection would be on this side, and then your washing machine would be on the other side. So your water connections, though, are evading me right now. I can't see where they might be. Oh, they're right there. So you have your washer connections on that wall, but it is a huge closet. Closet's even bigger than the closet we have in our Brookstone, considering the size of this unit. It does not have a flip up top here, but you have plenty of drawers. So you have four drawers here, plus three smaller drawers right there. And then you have cabinets up top and you would mount your TV right here. So the backer is right here. Not as high up as I'd like to see it. Maybe eliminating one of these cabinets would give you the ability to mount your TV a bit higher up, which I think would be more convenient for people laying in bed wanting to watch TV. They've radius this wall right here. So you get a little bit more room going in and out has a nice real door as well. Very nice. Here's your AC controls and your max air fan controls. And in here are gonna be your slide controls, lighting and everything else. Plus they gave some nice storage above it, which I really like. A lot of LED lighting this is a really nice unit. And it's gonna be on the lower cost structure of what they offer. But let's take a look outside of this unit. Okay, now that we're outside, I have the baggage door half flipped up. You can see this has very nice thick baggage doors. And that just adds rigidity to the door overall, which I like. Nice magnetic holds up at the top. This does not have a drop frame, which means that the frame is just one solid I-beam running front to back, which has its advantages. It steps up right here, but you do have a huge pass-through storage. And I like the fact that they're using the three inch aluminum bracing for the bath deck. Plus you have this really interesting little pocket right here, which they were able to utilize instead of keeping it as dead space. And that's one thing I talk about in my videos is, you know, in a lot of RVs, they would have just moved the wall all the way to here and you'd have this huge space back here that you can't use. This would be great for solar, right? If you're going to be adding solar to your RV and you want to have a space for it, this is a really, really great space and it's trimmed off really nicely but a huge pass-through storage. I can definitely appreciate that, especially considering this is not a drop frame unit. Let's come around this way. This is gonna be an outside TV, which is really nice. Looks to be about 32 inches. Nice thick baggage door and slam latch there as well. Looking underneath, this utilizes the Moride Cree 3000 upgraded suspension equalizer, and it has Goodyear Endurance tires. So you're seeing Grand Design start to put a lot of Goodyear Endurance tires on their units, which is really nice. You can see this has the ground control electronic leveling system from LCI, and you can see your sewer hose storage right there. This is gonna be your outside kitchen. I'm gonna open this up real quick. huge baggage door and this is a very very heavy baggage door too so it's not only large and thick but it's also very dense so they put a very high quality baggage door back here no outside sink that's about the only thing i think is lacking from this kitchen is an outside sink coming around this way you can see your propane connection down there so you can use a cooktop externally because it has a connection valve next to the valve going to the actual cooktop inside Coming to the back, LED lighting. This is gonna be the outside vent for your gas electric refrigerator. This appears to be rated for towing since it does have trailer light connections, chain connections, and a two inch receiver. But you're gonna to wanna to check the specs on this because you do not wanna exceed this. And it's really best just not, not to tow anything with your fifth wheel. I mean, just from a pure engineering perspective, you wanna avoid any additional leverage on your frame tied to the back. LED lighting. It is wired for a Furion wireless backup camera. It has a rack and pinion slide over here, and I believe the other slide was rack and pinion as well. Yep, so both main slides are rack and pinion. 
coming around this way, you can see that it has the Schwintec slide system on the bedroom slide. This is the outside of your Furion water heater. You have your furnace right here and your 50 amp connection right here. It's kind of interesting how some manufacturers will put it here, they'll put it halfway up, they'll put it all the way in the back. I mean, the cable for a lot of these is long enough to put it wherever they want, but it's weird how some manufacturers will put it in different locations. You gotta wonder what the logic is behind each one of their decisions to do that. And then opening this up, nice thick baggage doors again. This is interesting because I've seen the French door style system where this opens up, but I haven't really seen it where you lift one side up and the other one swings open. And the purpose of this, of course, is to avoid hitting the slide. So you can't have this one swing up unless you put a strut arm here, otherwise it would hit the slide. Very nice. You have the Nautilus water control panel right here. Then you have power connections as well as your TV satellite connection on the outside. Little pass through down here. I like the little drip tray, but I tend to like these closed off. So if they would have put a little wall right here, just in the event you have a water leak, it's not spraying into everything else over there. You can see the other side of your pass through right here, as well as your LCI one control panel up here, which controls your leveling system. Very nice overall take a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is going to have a gross vehicle weight rating of 13,995 pounds, under 14,000 pounds. It's going to ride on twin 6,000 pound axles, and it's going to have a cargo capacity of 3,035 pounds. So it's unlikely that you'll load this up to its max cargo. And you know, in most cases, you'll probably be closer to around maybe 11,500 pounds total gross vehicle weight. I would imagine some people load their stuff up really, really heavy. The unloaded weight rating of this specific unit is 10,900 pounds or the dry weight is 10,900 pounds so this is a relatively light unit you can probably expect to see about 2,000 pounds or a little bit more transfer to the back of your truck couple that with your fifth wheel hitch as well as the supplies and people inside of the truck you'll probably be closer to about maybe 3,500 pounds worth the total weight so you definitely want to make sure you have the right truck for this application most single rear wheel one ton trucks with a cargo capacity of at least 3,500 pounds should be more more than adequate enough to haul something like this. And this unit's gonna have an MSRP of $68,838, but you're definitely gonna wanna call them and find out what the sale price on this unit is because I can almost guarantee you it's gonna be significantly lower than the MSRP. But it's definitely worth looking into if this is a floor plan that you think would work for you and your family. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.